Hi friends, my name is Rohan Bharat Chandra. To decide to invest for long term, we need to do fundamental analysis. It's a detailed study about the present condition of the company and its future prospects. You can search for our videos on how to do basic fundamental analysis by searching in our channel. In fact, recently we made a video on fundamental analysis of Vinati Organics on May 11th. You can look for it on our channel. There are around 1900 companies listed on the NSC and more than 5000 companies listed on BSC. It is impossible to study all companies to decide which stocks to invest in. So, in order to shortlist which are the companies which we can do further research and fundamental analysis, we are sharing a simple method in this video with the help of ticker tape website. We will share a screen and show you how to screen stocks online. With this, you can do further practice and do your own research. Right now, I am on google.com and now I am looking for a website called tickertape.in. Look at spelling tickertape.in and not .com. Once the website is open, I scroll slightly down and I click on something called start screening. Once I get this page, then you can see that there are 4432 stocks which they have given in this list. It will keep going, going, going and there are different pages. If you see, it keeps going. So this is almost the entire number of stocks in the Indian stock market. But this is too much to research. You would like to shortlist a few companies on which you can do further research and then decide these are the companies to invest for long term. Now how to go about this process? For example, stock universe, when you click on this, it gives you 2-3 options. Nifty 50, Nifty mid cap 100 and Nifty 100. Suppose you want to select one of these, you can click on this. For example, now I say I want to invest only in Nifty 50 companies. So I click on Nifty 50 and it selects and instead of 4000 companies, it is showing only 50 companies, the top 50 companies based on market cap in India. Now there is one more option called sector. Suppose you want to see stocks in a specific sector, then you can click on that particular option. For example, if you want to look at financials, you click on financials and 11 companies in Nifty 50 are of financial sector, HDFC Bank, ICIC Bank, State Bank, etc, etc. Suppose you say, I don't want to specifically look for sectors, I want to see all the companies based on some parameters that I'm setting. So then I click it back and all the 50 companies are showing in front of you. These are the Nifty 50 companies. Now, there is one more option here where you can set the market cap. For example, right now it is the smallest company to the biggest company. Reliance Industries is the biggest company. Suppose you want to select some particular figure, for example, 20,000 crores, then only 20,000 crores to 17.18 lakh crores is showing. But since I've already clicked Nifty 50, it is showing only Nifty companies. They are always the biggest companies. So they will always be more than 20,000 market cap. Let us ignore this for now and I look for the other options. Now closing price, based on closing price, you can select this is a range of the stocks. Let us assume I don't want to do this. So I click remove and that option is deleted. Similarly, P ratio, I don't want to look. So I click remove here. Now I want to add some more parameters of my own. I click on add filter and now plenty of options in front of you. Let us assume I am first looking at CAGR. Companies which have given good CAGR, those are the companies I want to study further. So when I click here, search for filters, as I type it, it gives me an option saying 5 year CAGR. I click on this. And once I say done, if you see all the 50 companies are showing because I have not set what is the CAGR I require. Now, last 5 year CAGR, I want to have minimum 15%. Only then I will consider a stock for long term. So then what happens? Companies which have given 15 or more CAGR for the last 5 years, only those companies are showing right now. 21 companies are showing in the list, not all 50 companies because other companies have CAGR of below 15%. Now if you see here, different companies, different CAGR, but all will be above 15. Now I want to add one more criteria. Let us say I click on add filter and I say I want to add one particular option called debt to equity ratio. So I click on financial ratios and debt to equity ratio and then I say done. Debt to equity ratio as you know means how much debt or how much loans some company has taken from outsiders, banks, financial institutions compared to whatever equity capital they have in the company. 
So if they have too many loans, then they may not be able to repay the loans and then they may have problems. Now, I need to click on debt to equity and select the parameters. Select what is the range of debt to equity ratio. Right now, entire range of debt to equity ratio is showing in the list. Now, suppose I select, I want to see debt to equity ratio only till 200%. That means if a company has equity capital of 1, then debt should be not more than 2. That means 1 should be equity capital, 2 rupees should be the debt. Not more than that because then I feel this company may not be safe. Now if you see here, instead of 21 companies, 17 companies are on the list. And if you see there, 17 companies, they are in different order based on the market capitalization because the biggest companies on the top, Reliance Industries, smallest company based on this criteria, Apollo Hospitals and that is at the bottom. Suppose I want to add one more parameter, let's say. I go to add filter and now I am looking at ownership. Let us say I believe that only if promoter holding is above a particular percentage then this company is good otherwise I don't consider. Let us assume. So I click on promoter holding and I click done. Now promoter holding is in front of you in the corner. I click on promoter holding and right now it is showing 0 to 100 whatever the promoter holding it is coming in the list. I say minimum the promoter holding of these companies which I want to research further should be 40. So 40 to 100% anything I will consider and I will do further research. That time if you see only 11 companies are part of this list, not all the companies because some companies promoter holding may be zero or very very small. Now if you see here, the companies are listed based on market cap. Suppose I want them to be listed based on 5 years CAGR, I click on this and then based on CAGR, Divis Lab 48% CAGR for last 5 years, that is a company which is showing as number 1 and the bottom company lowest CAGR. Suppose I want it based on debt to equity, then I click on debt to equity, highest debt to equity is coming on the top, lowest is at the bottom, if I click again, then the lowest comes on top, highest comes on the bottom, these are the basic options available. Now promoter holding, I want whichever company is highest promoter holding to be on top. Then if you see Wipro 73%, that is number one based on this list. Lowest promoter holding 45%, JSW Steel, that is in this list. So now you got an idea how to shortlist companies. After you shortlist these companies, you need to do detailed fundamental analysis, do a lot of study, understand what they have done so far in their in their history and what will be the scope in the future for next 5, 10 or 15 years. After that, you can shortlist 8 or 10 companies and invest for long term. This is what we teach in our workshops as well. This is an idea for you to shortlist, but how to research further, what fundamental analysis to do, that is part of our workshop, which is much more detailed, cannot be shown in a few slides here and there. Many people were asking about our online stock market workshop in Canada. There is a free webinar regarding that to give you details about the workshop. The workshop is in Canada currently. The free webinar also will be in Canada on Sunday 22nd May 4 pm to 6.30 pm. It's an online webinar. To receive the link for the free webinar, please email successdigest at gmail.com with your name and mobile number and email subject Canada webinar. So based on this, you will get a reply with the link and then you can register for the webinar and attend the webinar, get the details about the 3 months online course in Canada and then take a decision whether to register or not. So this video gave a very good idea about how to shortlist stocks to do further research on them. I hope this video was very useful for you. If you like this video, please click the like button and if this video was very helpful for you, type helpful in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. Bye-bye and all the best.